<laughs> yo, yo, we in a wet doll. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I drive. <laughs> yo, welcome to the whippersnapper, though. Does anybody else have driving gloves? Motocross driving gloves? I sure do. Bright yellow. Looking foxy. But yeah, as you can see, different setting currently. We are in the 1998 Volvo station wagon. It is my uh, temporary whip until I get my truck, which I'm going to work on tonight. Uh, hopefully have it very soon here. But uh, I'm starvational. And on the other side of my town is a little place called Arby's. It's the only one that we got. And I need it in my belly. So let's go get it. It's very fall, very it's uh it's super wet outside, raining, very fall, but a nice day. I like these days. So let's get it. We have reached the promised land and they do have the meats. <laughs> let's do this, baby. Uh ready to get my Arby's on. You know what I'm saying? This is always a crucial moment before you pull up to the box, kind of not knowing what you want, but having the pressure on that you got to get, you know what I mean? I don't like this pressure. I don't live well in this pressure. Uh oh, now I got a car behind me too, even more pressure. God damn. Um, is the cordon blue like chicken and ham together? Yes. Okay, can I get that meal? Can I find someone to drink? Um, Dr. Pepper, if you got it? No, we do have cherry coke. Yeah, that's cool. Anything else? Can I just make the curly fries large? Sure. Anything else? Uh, mozzarella sticks, a four piece. Any ranch or marinara? Uh, ranch, please, for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm also going to get a gyro, just the sandwich, though. Nothing Which else. Which one would you like? Uh, the beef, please. Okay, there we go. Anything else? That'll be it. It's all together, one chicken cordon bleu, large curly fries, medium shirt, coke, a four piece monster with ranch, and a beef hero. You got it. Okay, yeah, 22.55, please show up. Sweet, thank you. You're welcome. 22 bucks! Food in Canada ain't not cheap. Worth it though, worth it. All right, hello, welcome. We have procured the sacks of Arby's. Now, there is one mass disappointment. I left the drive-thru, and to my dismay, there was no Dr. Pepper handed to me. I didn't realize it during the course of that uh, transaction, so I had to stop and get a Barks Root Beer at a local pizza place nearby, uh, the discreet location that I'm now parked in, and, uh, they had slices, so I got myself a slice too. So we're gonna do Arby's featuring a random Frankie's Pizzeria slice of pizza. I couldn't hold back, I needed it. Before we get into that, the first thing I wanna do is get my driving gloves off. That's first, because we can't eat with driving gloves. These aren't eating gloves, these are driving gloves, okay? So we can't eat with driving gloves, but most really, what I really, really want to do is get to a fresh, hot mozzarella stick. What a fail. She said she would give me ranch for my mozzarella sticks, and there ain't no ranch. I'm the ranch king. Okay, so these are the mozzarella sticks. Nothing better than a hot mozzarella stick. I wish I had a better dip, but we're going to have to go with the horsey sauce for this because she forgot the ranch. Oh well, it is what it is. We're not mad at it. What we're gonna do though, is this. Oh, yes! See, and that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is how it needs to be when it comes to a matzo stee. Mm. 
it's got to have that pull. That is a proper, proper matzo stick. The horsey sauce isn't the best on it. Let's try some ketchup. Mm. All right. But we all know ranch would have been the best. Mm. Man. A proper monster stick. Hard to beat. Bark root beer. I really wish I had a full cup of ice beverage straight out the fountain. Uh, that's not the case though. Next up, of course, the curly fries. Another gotta get them while they're hot situation. You guys know about a curly fry, right? Oh. Got a ketchup your sleeve. Peep game. Look at that. A little, a little spicy. Seasoned up so legit. Take a little mayo cup. Right there. That's what it's about. You guys remember those shoelaces when you were kids that you didn't have to tie up? Because they were like that. Come out of the side. Man. Curly fries go way under recognized as an absolutely banging potato product snack moment of silence for the rain can you hear it Rain ASMR. Okay. One more with a nice ketchup squirt. Then I want to get into this Cordon Bleu chicken ham cheese sandwich. Which I've never tried. I'm straying off the beaten path today, but we'll see what it's like. Pop in. So, a fried chicken patty with ham and cheese and a sauce, a very uh, large helping of sauce. I think it would be better if it had uh, some veggies on it, probably, in my opinion. But a cordon bleu is a classic, uh, classic dish. Ham and the cheese is very pronounced. Mm -hmm. Nice, warm, and soft, though. Mm. The chicken definitely comes last. Which is so interesting because 
it is like the predominant part of the sandwich. That's good. I do like it. Would I chuck it up on like an all-time favorite list? No. Does this get to be on the all-time favorite list? Yes. It is perfect lighting out today. It's overcast, so it's like the best lighting for, for uh, a natural light video. Next up, we got the Greek beef. Gyro, gyro, whatever you want to call it, however you want to pronounce it. I don't know. It's always wrong. I've been craving uh, like shawarma or gyro or things like this lately. So, so that is why we definitely had to go here with this one. But we got the beef and all the fixings. But mainly, my excitement lies in the tzatziki sauce. You know? Mm -hmm. Not gonna lie, I wanted the beef. to be like charred griddled off or like rotisserie the fact that it's the shaved is a little disappointing But the tzatziki, on point. Low key saving the day. Maybe that's smarter. Mm -hmm. The tzatziki is where it's at. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Y'all really thought I forgot about my man's pizza slice, huh? The random slice. I went in strictly for a beverage. I saw the slice. I couldn't deny the slice, you know? It looked as if it would be good. Just a pep and cheese. Mm. It's all right. Certainly looked better than it tastes. It's pretty standard, like, cafeteria-type pizza taste. And even though there's no black olives on it, it tastes like there's black olives on it. Which is a strange 
sensation phenomena considering that it's just pepperoni and cheese right here star of the show the monster sticks or the hitters of this meal next up the curlies after that the gyro mainly the tzatziki sauce after that the cordon blue sandwich it was certainly good but just all right not really amazing in here secret weapon I brought it with me ginger ale diet ginger ale on ice hmm overall a couple letdowns didn't get my drink didn't get my ranch those two threw a little wrench in the plan the items that I did get also a couple little minor letdowns so I don't know I wouldn't get this meal again I wouldn't reorder the same thing if I go back to Arby's I'm trying a whole new situation because these items weren't the ticket and neither was this cafeteria olive pizza that said though still delicious very good food just missed me in certain parts of the meal you know natural light in the volvo in the 20 year old whip love these videos i love car videos i can't wait to get my truck so i can do more of them and that being said i hope you enjoyed this one Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, and stay true.